In this video, I'll be talking about my personal endurance record flown with the home-built Silver Eagle platform and how I also managed to fly it over 100 kilometers in total distance travel. My previous attempt a couple of months ago was done in a day which had drizzle, low-hanging clouds, and harsh pockets of wind gusts, but unlike the circumstance, I've managed to fly it over 2 hours and covered about 68 kilometers. So I thought about scheduling the day with the most optimal flying conditions I could fly in to find out for how long I can let it stay airborne before battery levels get to critically low numbers. To get the best aerodynamic advantages for the endurance flight, I internalized the long-range antennas of the receiver inside the fuselage and applied some changes to the appearance of the video transmitter antenna to have that as smooth as possible too. So the airframe and tail section is made with 5mm papered foam board and the 1.6m wings are made of 5mm XPS foam sheets. The power plant setup consists of a 600 kV motor with a 12 by 8 prop and internalized 40 amp ESC. The flight controller is the F405 wing V2 from Matek and has a Batian BN280 GPS unit. Its solid weight is about 1.8 kilograms and the battery I'm flying with is my homemade 4S2P lithium-ion flight battery with 9600 milliamp hours on board. And as always, I have the video receiver on a tripod next to the front seat of the car with the cables running to the 10-inch FPV screen and DVR recorder inside. And here are the necessary parameters I kept an eye on during the flight. The ones in the middle are distance on top and the flight mode on the bottom. I also configured an arrow that changes direction when flying away, past or towards the home point but oddly didn't appear on the video feed and recorder except my back a pair of goggles. But since I was familiar with the area, I wasn't flying far and didn't consider it much of a problem. I mainly enjoyed flying out until the approximate limit of my radio link from within the car and then cruised back, and while doing so I mainly aimed to keep the amperage less than 4 and maintain the altitude. So within the first hour, I consumed about 3,400 milliamp hours, which means that the motor had been spinning at less than 3.5 amps on average, which was great to note during the flight. So a little after 80 minutes, I started flying in these bumpy thermal pockets which allowed me to cruise along with about 2.5 amps and sometimes less which was an incredible experience. Riding waves under FPV is the best way I can describe it.
And in this moment, crossing into the first kilometer in the opposite direction, I've also flown into the second hour with about 14 volts and 6,300 milliamp hours consumed from the battery. After 2 hours and 30 minutes, I contemplated for a landing to preserve some capacity for the battery which started to sag but noted that I was about 7 kilometers away from reaching 100 kilometers of trip distance so I kept it cruising at close range.
and at the 98th kilometer mark i cruised it out on the last kilometer so that i cruise back line it up and land it with 100 kilometers on the trip distance Well, I personally never thought that the Silver Eagle design would endure over 2 hours and 30 minutes, but I guess Thermal Pockets assisted me in getting my app numbers low enough at cruise to fly 2 hours and 44 minutes and get over 100 kilometers in total distance travel. Its average speed of 36 kilometers per hour is below the average from what you'd observe from FPV platforms like the Mini Talon and others, but that was expected from the flight since its goal was to fly for as long as possible which basically is flying with the lowest throttle setting throughout the flight. And that throttle when expressed in amps comes when I multiply 0.06 with the milliamp hours I consume divided by the flight time in minutes which expresses my cruise throttle to be just 3.1 amps which is also lower than the average cruise throttle you'd observe too. But with a relatively low cruise speed I still managed to have 85 milliamp hours per kilometer efficiency which I can't complain about. So by far, this particular FPV plane currently has the greatest potential out of all FPV planes I've made and featured on the channel, although I haven't flown the flying wing that much which might do as good or even better. So please like the video if you guys enjoyed it and feel free to leave a comment which I always enjoy to see and interact with. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.